we talking about specifically kinetics. Now to start with the uh, definition itself of kinetics, so we can say that kinetics is the study of the rate at which the reactions occur. Okay, and what we mean by the rate, the rate of a reaction is defined as the concentration change divided by time change. Okay, just as simple as that. Concentration divided by time. Now the rate of a reaction is proportional to the concentration of the drug and is expressed as, in general, how do you define a rate? dc by dt proportional to the concentration of the drug to the power n where this n is the order of a reaction. Or simply we can say that rate dc by dt is equal to kc to the power n, where this k is the rate constant, n is the order of the reaction. So this is a general expression for the rate. Now, when we talk about rates of reaction, we have either zero order, first order, second order, zero, um, pseudo first order, and all, and uh, so on and so forth, okay? But most commonly, we come across two kinds of reactions, either zero order or first order. So this is very fundamental and very basic that if a data is given to you, you should be able to tell whether that rate of reaction is a zero order or a first order okay so what do we mean and how do we find out what is zero and how do we find out whether it, whether the data gives you a first order reaction okay so to start with this zero order reaction now in a zero order reaction the rate of drug decomposition is independent of the concentration of the drug remaining that is the rate is constant that means constant amount of, amount of the drug would be degrading over a period of time, okay? And as the drug is getting degraded, the amount of the drug remaining is becoming less and less over a period of time. But the rate is independent of the amount of the drug remaining. That means a constant, a fixed amount of the drug would be continuously getting degraded over a period of time. Okay, so that is what we mean by a zero order or a constant rate of reaction. Now the zero order rate reaction is given by, again, that expression we said dc by dt is equal to kc to the power zero. Why? Because here uh, n is equal to zero. So simply anything raised to the power zero is one so that dc by dt is k naught. That means this rate is a constant value. Okay, now simply if we integrate that dc by dt is equal to k, integration of that rate equation will give you c is equal to c naught minus kt. Okay, so this is the integral form of the integrated form of the equation for a zero order reaction. c is equal to c naught minus kt and this expression is in the form of or it is the equation for the straight line y is equal to mx plus c y is equal to mx plus c okay so what do we mean by that is that if we plot this equation on the graph that means on the y-axis okay we take this concentration that is amount or the concentration of the drug here on the y-axis and on the x-axis, if we take the time component, okay, just hold on, yes. If we take the time on the, uh, on the x-axis, okay, and if we plot a graph, then we get a straight line. And the slope of this line is minus k, which is the rate constant. Slope of this line is minus k. And this line intercepts the y-axis and this y-intercept is the initial concentration that is c naught. Okay, so this is how if you plot c versus t, concentration versus time, and if you get a straight line, that means that data is a zero order process or that rate is a zero order process. Okay, now drug decomposition reactions in the solid phase, 
or in suspensions follow a zero order kinetics. So degradation of the drugs in solid or in suspensions would most probably be a zero order reaction or photolysis. That is another example where it is a zero order reaction. Now we come to another type that is the first order reaction. Now in the first order reaction, the rate of drug decomposition depends. Okay, it is just contrary to the zero order. In first order, it will depend upon the concentration of the drug remaining. Now, what do we mean by that? As the drug is decomposing, degrading over a period of time, that means now less amount of the drug is remaining at the back. Okay. Now, as the amount of the drug remaining is gradually decreasing, that means the rate of reaction will also decrease because the rate depends upon the concentration of, of the amount of the drug remaining. Okay, whereas in case of zero order, it was a constant, a fixed amount was degrading over a period of time. But in first order, what will happen? Initially, a higher amount of the drug would be degrading. But over a period of time, as less amount of the drug remains, less amount of the drug will be degrading over a period of time. Okay, so that is a first order reaction. Now the first order rate equation is again as we uh, general expression is that dc by dt is kc to the power uh, 1 because now this is for the order that is n is replaced by 1 and just to simplify this or to identify this rate constant for the first order it is given as k1 unlike, unlike uh, these k0. So it is k1 c to the power 1 as simply c raised to the power 1 is c. So that is why dc by dt is kc. Okay. Whereas in case of zero order, this was dc by dt is k. Okay. For the first order, dc by dt is kc. Now again, if we just integrate this equation and then rearrange, uh, so for the first order, not for the zero order, but for the first order reaction, integration will give you log c is equal to log c naught minus kt by 2.303. Okay, that means again, this is in the form of uh, this is the equation for the straight line y is equal to mx plus c. That means now in this case on the y axis, you take this log c. Okay, versus the uh, time the t on the x axis. Okay, so now when you convert those concentration terms in the log values and plot those log values with the time, that means you have log c versus t in that case you will get a straight line now the c versus t will not be a straight line okay c versus t is a straight in case of zero order but here in this case c versus t will not be straight instead it will be sigmoidal c versus t will be exponential fall okay but log c versus t if you get a straight line that means it is a first order process okay so many drug of course decomposition reactions on storage follow first order kinetics now this you can take simply as a thumb rule whenever we talk about stability whenever we talk about kinetics of drug now the drugs generally degrade by first order kinetics. That means you always have to take the plasma and you have to take the log of the concentration versus the time to get a straight line. Okay. Now, so we'll just stop here. And today we have just introduced this concept of kinetics. Very simple. And you have to keep in mind the zero order and the first order kinetics. And how do you find out zero or first order by plotting? the concentration versus time. C versus T, if it gives you a straight line, that means it is a zero order process. But when you plot log C versus T, if you get a straight line, that means it is a first order process. And most importantly, all the drugs, almost all the drugs decompose by a first order process, almost all the drugs, okay, by a first order process. So we'll just stop here and we'll